Hello everyone, welcome back to the Yorkshire Jingle Jam 2017. It's Friday and today we're going to do something very, very special. We're joined by Nick. Mr. Hello. Nick a professional chef. <laughs> Used to be. And uh, ex-professional was, chef. He was, he was disbarred from the chef profession Ooh. for cooking meals forbidden. Oh, the yes, the, in the forbidden in the ancient, forbidden recipes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's, there's too much butter. There's no such thing. You're a madman. You're doing <laughs> butter with butter oh. on a souffle of butter. Mm. But it works. Oh, it was <laughs> so delicious. It was, it was forbidden and he was banished yeah. from the chef world. Forever. Forever. But we, 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 yeah, we brought him out of exile <laughs> for your viewing pleasure. So Nick, you, 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 cook, on, you cook on Twitch as well, don't you? I do cook on Twitch, yes. So I do what, do what's your channel? Yeah. Uh, it. it's, uh, it's, uh, it's just Nick Blade. Nick Blade? Yes, Nick Blade. And you do like Sunday roasts and stuff? I, I, I cook whatever. Anything? I, anything, yeah. I cook, I, cook, I cook for my family and I do the world's worst giveaways on Twitch. Okay. I mean absolutely the world's worst giveaways. So people can win like a wooden spoon or a chopping board oh, wow. or a Literally whisk. Literally a wooden spoon. Price. Literally, yeah. But I send them anywhere. So it's not oh, just really? UK, anywhere oh, in wow. the world. But it's really bad when it's, someone it's wins It's shit a, for everyone. They get a shit prize. You shit, have to yeah. pay a lot for shipping. But, that's yes, brilliant. I do. I do. Yeah, Some, yeah. Someone won a pizza stone. I had to send a pizza stone to Ooh. Australia. It cost me forty-two quid, and the price only cost me a fiver. Ouch! Get on, get on Amazon. But yeah. Um, so, so we're in a boat. Okay, oh yes. Just, just to set the scene. Can this we we're on a boat. Yeah, yeah. Can we, can we, can we straighten the camera so we can see how much of a piss this boat is on? And we actually are on a boat. Hang on. Yeah. Right. It's, it's just outside wait, the offices. Wait, Lewis. Um, wait. So Turks is just heading up there. Two, two. There he is. Two. I'm sure the mic isn't going to completely cut out up there. I'm sure the audio yeah. is fine. So uh, we're, we're is below terms. decks, is that the term? We're in the bowels. In the bowels. This is where they, they used to store the rum. In the bilge. Yeah, in the um, bilge. <laughs> I, don't, I wonder what I was stepping in. So it's a bit of a slope. It um, is. Actually, so yeah. if anyone's fall Let's over, it's it. not due to being hung over from the karaoke. Like last <laughs> that's so... There you go. There, oh, that's, that's not too bad. That's not yeah, too yeah. bad. It could that's be a worse. weighted. I think if you put that on the floor, it would roll more. Have you got anything in this? Yes. It's yeah. a mold side. Show that, show that, there you go. So yeah, there you go. That's oh. that's, the, that's what we're working with here. <laughs> that's fine though, that's good. Um, if you guys... It's fine, you wouldn't notice. No one would notice. It would be great set. when we get the eggs out. We just, oh, I just yeah. put a couple of eggs there. So let's set the scene, okay? Okay. So it's Christmas morning. Let's pretend okay. it's Christmas morning. Santa's and come. you've just Santa's woken up. Okay, and if, you, if, you're the, if you're the dad, <laughs> you are going to have to prep Christmas dinner for this afternoon. It's going to be very stressful. Okay, so you got up early at eleven thirty in the morning. It's not that early. Is it? <laughs> it's nearly noon. And you're like thinking, oh, I better get on with it. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, it's dinner time. What? <laughs> well, the turkey yeah, takes three we're, hours. We're, we're, we're already half an hour late. And yeah. yeah, we're in trouble. So we can obviously the turkey does take three hours. So that's something we'll have to keep in mind, right? But some of the other things are going to be doing. But we've got a whole crew of people. You've got a whole family here. We do. We okay? do. Yeah. We got we... a guy who can cut things up. Master, Duncan, master knife. Duncan's uh, uh, master knife. We got, we got a guy who can fetch things I'm from a, the shop. I've, I've got a credit card and legs. Uh, Becky's over there as well. We're going to go over and we're going to buy a load of extra things because we prepared really well. Uh, in advance. We got a guy. We did. We did. We did. And then we found the stuff. Knows what he's doing. And then we got someone who knows what yeah. he's going to tell us what to do. So it's all and we got be someone who's already and we got prepping the booze. Who's yeah. thinking about the first thing we should do is I bought with me some mold cider. Now for me. And my family, you know, so it's you not Christmas tradition, hey, but hey, I would hey, like let's, to let's make bring it. bring it over to the close-up camera. I would like it to oh, be yeah, a yeah. Christmas tradition. Yeah, so here we go. To the I got some, some, some go. mold cider. I'll be the hand model. I'll do this one as well. Yeah. Okay. From, yeah, we so have, it's like a kind well, of... So have a look, there you go. There's, there's the bottle of it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, so so you, you have you have this, what, what, what is this? It's it's like, it's make like your spice own, mix. It says here, make your own tea cocktail. You can make it, you can make anything with it though. For us, we're going to use mold, we're going to use it to mold cider. All right. You're gonna have a snuffle. Oh, fuck, that's beautiful. Ooh, that's so of nice. course, um, if you go to, if you ever, if you ever need a winter warmer, oh, it's good actually. Yeah. Malt wine is nice, but we're, we're more, we're more better. in Bristol, in the West Country, so we're gonna malt some cider. On me, on me. Let's begin. Let's begin. Let's do something. That's, that's really fruity. Yes. That's, so, you know yeah, this. So, yeah. So mold, mold this baby up, dude. So, so what are you gonna do? Right. I'm off to the shop. Oh, we have to boil this. Get a pan. We'll, we'll, we'll put this right. inside together. This has in enough to to do four bottles of spirits. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be, really gonna be really good. Really it's gonna be really strong. Yeah, it's gonna be nice strong. Um, but what we're right, gonna do is we're just gonna bring it to the boil, and then you we're gonna you drink You know, you never bring right, it to the go. boil, because the second use, it goes use, to the boil, that, all the alcohol is gone. We don't want that uh, then. <laughs> it says here, Which, that one. heat until boiling. It does say heat until well, boiling, to don't. make speedy mold cider. Don't do right. it, you'll okay. ruin it. Got a bottle opener? I've got, no, we have a Well, we're in a bar. What about a knife? We are in a, this isn't really a kitchen. It is a, 
Beautiful. Right. A lighter. Right. Okay. Uh, someone said, is this pre-recorded? No, it's not pre-recorded because I'm now answering your questions. Yes, Aha! chat. So can't Aha! We can Give see us some yes. chat, chat. Yes. Is Lulu a budding alcoholic? No, I am not a bad alcoholic. I need some hair of the dog. Five minutes in already drunk. How no. are you feeling? In no, we, we were drunk before the five minutes started. I'm okay. Right. How do I use this? Uh, oh, well, it's already, would, you've already I've already turned it, it on. Um, it might be a bit warm, Ooh. so just be careful. Okay, so. Decant blend in onto stove with a mug of cider to the mug. We're going to use a mug of that. Decant what? Blend. Decant oh, what? So blend. chuck that into. Oh, so chuck it in the pan. Yeah. With the cider. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's just go. Well, it. It's not. It's not complicated, Lewis. You don't don't use it all. Use about half. Yeah. Please don't put it all in. There you go. That deal. That deal. That's all we need. Okay. So we're going to boil. So I'm feeling Second quite one. uncomfortable boiling cider. I'm going to be honest. Well. Well, you're just, you're just it, heating it. You're it that, get used to that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> the uncomfortable feeling of us cooking badly is going to persist yeah. through by much the, of this stream. By, by the way, we are going to do some challenges as well. We are going to get on and actually cook Christmas dinner because apparently we've got to have this done by... No more. Stop it. No, I, wouldn't, I, I like it spicy. <laughs> we, 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 we've it's got to have this spicy. done by five o'clock because we've, got to, we, we've basically been fucked off the boat by five. So, we do have to actually get on and cook Christmas dinner, but in the meantime, because it takes a while to cook, we're going to be doing some cooking challenges as well. So, uh, Duncan, you want to cook breakfast, don't you? I'm hungry, yeah. I'm, yeah I skip he wants breakfast. to cook breakfast. So, just to make things more complicated, not only are we doing a three-course Christmas dinner, three courses of Christmas dinner. Full Christmas dinner. Yeah. Full All Christmas dinner, three courses. All of you guys out there who are thinking, oh Which, no, how am I going to cook Christmas actually, dinner? Actually, I haven't even told them what the menu is yet. Well, let's tell them what the menu is. Well, I, no, we'll tell them the layout of the day first. Well, let's okay. be professional. Okay, so... Turkey goes in pretty soon, right? No! Going, what okay. are we going to do with the, the challenges? First. We're going to do the cooking challenges. Well, we'll worry about them when... when, when yeah, we, we haven't when, bought them all yet. Don't worry, who knows? <laughs> so, so well if planned. If you've got any ideas through. for yeah. cooking challenges, chat yeah. is right here. Christmas dinner is ruined, says the sweet. Has That's Duncan lost he weight? Can't be ruined yet. No, he's just standing next to someone even fatter than him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can we swap around? I just want to see how, how much the slope of this is. Like, how tall... It is, do you, if you switch... See, look, it's a real slope. Look, you're actually a tiny dwarf. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Right, so we have to be careful not to boil this. We need some mugs. Get some it's mugs. It's not going to boil that quickly. It is already looking no, it's, it's pretty a, good. Doesn't it say boil for like yeah, 20 don't. minutes or so? Don't do it. Uh, no, just heat until boiling. Well, it hasn't boiled yet. Nah. It's not even. Don't put your finger in there. But it's alcohol. Oh, what does that mean? Does that mean it boils the Sterilizes anything that's on my finger. Oh, right. Well, it's. I mean, it's only like 5%. He's washed his hands. God, that don't tastes like shit. <laughs> 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 it, it, it needs so to infuse. It hasn't infused at all. It hasn't, it hasn't infused. Right. I'm a little bit worried because so this is meant anyway, to be for spirits. So, the menu for today is going to be, we're going to start off, um, we're going to have three courses. We have a tian of smoked salmon, which is basically uh, cottage mm. cheese, nice crisp vegetables, they're all mixed together. And then smoked salmon chopped through that, and it's put in a little gâteau ring, topped with a bit of creme fraîche, and then we're going to do some uh, marinated balsamic marinated cucumber as a little garnish around the edge, which is very, very tasty. Is this all very modern stuff? This is lovely stuff. Because yes. I remember, you know, back in the day, you would get like a melon with some parma ham on it. Oh my God, you're talking the eighties. <laughs> that sounds. That sounds awful. The prawn cocktail. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it's smoked salmon with. Oh, smoked cottage. salmon. Yeah, Tiana with, smoked salmon. Yeah, we, that's we, what we like Chris Vegel. I tell you what, I was at. Uh, Tiana. I ate, what was it? Tian. Tian. Uh, yeah, T T I A N. It's just basically it's just a way of serving it. Just a oh. way of serving it. We're just gonna stack it up. But I was I was eating at Marco Pierre Weiss um, uh, on Wednesday night. Okay. Yeah, and he actually had on the menu. Classic 1970s prawn cocktail. Oh no! <laughs> and I was like, no, nah, I'll leave With that one alone. With pink sauce. Yeah. So it's like what? It's like um, ketchup and mayonnaise mixed together. Or yeah, something. Mary Rose sauce. The <laughs> Mary Rose sauce. But yeah, so uh, Tiana Smoked Salmon is going to start. Then we're going to have roast turkey with all the trimmings. So we're going to have the peas in blankets. We've got the roast potatoes, the roast parsnips. We're going to make our own sausage Ooh. meat stuffing, sage onion stuffing, uh, which we're going to cook separately. We're not going to cook it in the bird because that's not very healthy. So, so far though... Well, isn't that healthy? As a vegetarian, three out of three, we strike strike, strike one for the strike smoked salmon, strike two <laughs> for the turkey, <laughs> strike you two for salmon, the pigs and blankets. Yeah, are you, oh, are you full on vegetarian? No animals at all? I can't eat fish and meat, no. Well, well carry on. Some, some vegetarians eat fish. Get to the veg, come on, let's see what is it. The veg, let's we'll, get to the veg. We'll, we'll do you one with just veg. Uh, and then the veg, we're going to have um, Brussels sprouts. Oh. With bacon. With, with, no, 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 <laughs> no, with, with chestnuts and pancetta, which is basically Italian yeah, yeah, bacon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's bacon, yeah. Okay, okay fine. Uh, and then uh, we've four. got <laughs> mashed, mashed carrot and swede. Right. Finished with a bit of balsamic and sugar, which is delicious. Made yeah. with mm. steak juice. 
No, 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 just, just that. Them, them, them. Chicken stock. Chicken stock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we're going to have uh, some frozen peas. Just frozen peas, we're just going to boil them. I can crunch them up. Yeah, and then we're going to put <laughs> bacon frozen. fat over the top of them. <laughs> just finish them off with lard. Yeah. So, and even the roast potatoes will be cooked in goose fat. The, the roast potatoes yeah. are going to be cooked in goose fat as well, but that's fine, that, that's, that's, that's not an animal, because it's like just oh. the fat of the animal. Don't yeah. worry, this is yeah. all this is all fake cooking. Don't <laughs> yeah. worry, no one's gonna, no one eats anything on TV. And then finally, anything. to finish off, we're going to do a Christmas pudding trifle. Oh, I can eat which that. Which is going to be okay. um, it's Christmas got... pudding. Well, no, you can't because it's got suet in it. It's Christmas got pudding. Pork in it. <laughs> you can't have that. It's got beef out of it. Shit. It's literally nothing. Oh, it you might can be eat. a vegetarian one. Let's have a look. It might be vegetarian. Well, listen, I'm not that fussy. Well, yeah, Terps has. I tell you what, Yogs are making a fortune at the minute. Terps has bought Waitrose stuff, and this is a Remy Martin. Oh wow! And um, Christmas pudding. So guys, keep your subs coming in because it's got to pay for all this food. I've got to admit, like, you know, the uh, flipping... The flipping... Oh, it is vegetarian, you're right. Oh, nice. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so we're going to use some jelly, which has got gelatin it's in great it. Thing. It's great oh. thing. Because who, who doesn't love Christmas pudding? Oh. You know, it's so nice, we have it all year round. Yeah. Is that... <laughs> is this vegetarian? Is the jelly vegetarian? I really hope not. Gelatarian. Because I, I just, I just want, I just want you to cook with Jelly's it all day. Jelly's made of ground up animal bones. You can't eat anything. It's terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Just be drinking cider oh. all day, Lewis. I can handle that, Duncan. Yeah, that sounds like yeah, no, a good thing no, still. You can't, you can't have the dessert either, it's got gelatin in it. Do you mind about gelatin, Lewis? I'm not, I'm not that fussy. Yeah. I'm, I, I, I don't care about are the we gonna, animals. Shall, shall, we, shall we do some chopping up whilst your side is Yes, cooking? absolutely. Get, yeah? us, get us to work. Put us to work. Right. Oh, okay. One thing I do want is a cup of tea. I brought oh, yeah. a tea bag with me. Can well, we get some? Water here. Now, the water on the boat okay, oh. is comes in a big gallon of drinkable water. Just, no, no, we just just there there is tap water on the boat, but it's a hose. That runs in the side of the boat, and there's literally yeah. like an think, outside tap over a sink. And they, they did flag up. I think that it's it just not drinkable. sucks yeah. up from the river. Ah, uh, it's a siphon. <laughs> yeah. You have to, you have to yeah. like, suck it. And if you suck too hard, you get like part of a duck. It's <laughs> Bristol Canal water. <laughs> this is, this this is our water <laughs> we've got to use. So, do you want to get a pan and we'll, we'll pour some in? And uh, well, no, we can use that. Uh, it, uh, oh, there it is. There. Yeah. Oh, it's no fun though. It's no fun. I want to. I want to be right. full on. Oh no, this is He brought his fine. own tea bag. Yes, we are. I don't know why we're on a boat. It was like, Nick, do you want to come and do some cooking for us? I was like, yeah, sure, that sounds like a great idea. And then they said, we're going to do it on a boat. I was like, okay. And I honestly <laughs> thought we were going to be out in the sea somewhere. And I could just imagine myself doing a Rick Stein standing on the front of a oh, trawler, yeah. bouncing around with a barbecue, going, oh, it's the best tasting shrimp I've ever had, whilst hurling over the side. But no. Uh, it was, Can uh, you tell it's quite cold in here? Did you bring enough tea for everybody? Well, no, I didn't bring enough tea for everyone. That's a bit selfish, really. Bag. You can reuse a tea sugar. bag. You can, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, we've, we've got milk if you want milk. Oh, what? No, it's just green tea. It's just very... It's just, it's none of that English... It's none of that English... Round dust in a bag for me, no. <laughs> can't can't right. beat a cup of Tetley's. Um, I'm just trying to think what we need Yorkshire to do first. Tea was what I, used to. I, think, I think we need to do the dessert first so we can get the jelly setting. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's, that's what we need to do first. So, what um, do we need to chop right. up for that? I can do the well, peppers. We're not... We're not we're not going to do too much chopping to start off with, to be perfectly right. honest. We're going to do some crumbling and some stuffing. Okay. So, right. um, hands. because, again, Turks didn't tell me how many people we were going to be cooking for, I decided we'll just do for four, and then we'll just see how it goes from there. But seeing as you can't eat anything anyway, that's actually going to work well, all right. Are you <laughs> washing your hands? Yes. Really? Well, I in, the, in the non-drinkable water? Well, it's still water. <laughs> Yeah. There's soap. There's soap. I mean, soap does kill 99.999% bacteria. That would be domestic soap. Well, no, but normal soap is just a Does it? Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. And so that's, a, that's, a, that's a famous fallacy. Soap is very good at killing bacteria. In fact, it's... The, what, the fallacy is that soap kills doesn't. bacteria? Yeah, we've, had, we've been sold this lie. <laughs> That we can't use soap anymore. We have to use these. Do you, do you remember there was a, you know you know you know the pumpy soaps? Yeah. yeah. There was someone brought out a hands-free one oh, where you yeah. waved your hand in front of it because it's more hygienic. Yeah. And I was like, well, how good is your soap if your actual pump dispenser could become dirty well, and you wouldn't want to like, touch it? Of all the things in the world that you're definitely gonna wash your hands with soap after touching is the dispenser exactly. of a soap thing. That's gonna be one of the cleanest <laughs> things in your yeah. house, isn't it? But like, it doesn't even matter because it, touching it means you're going to about to wash your hands. Yeah, so, so exactly. Why do you need it hands-free? You know what it is? They, 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 they well, produce Lewis. a load of those air fresheners that sense you when you walk past, and they yeah. just had a load of the sensors left. And they're just like, ah, oh, fuck it, we'll put it in the soap things. People will buy that. Uh, spoons, I need some spoons. I think this is getting near, uh, near boiling. If I turn it down. Do you reckon it's near boiling? 
doesn't look as hot as my tea, Duncan. But so it's getting close. Oh well, yeah, I think it is simmering. No, no, you don't, you don't, want, don't want to turn it down if it's getting near boiling. You want to keep it until it's boiling. Well, no, we don't want to boil it though, because it'll bother with the alcohol. Did, it did say boil. It did say boil. No, I mean, that's with the spirit. Yeah, the alcohol goes at about 54, 60 degrees anyway. Yeah, so, so we don't want to... longer. I think it's already gone. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that needs sugar. Yeah, all right. All right, boss. Seriously. Well, we've got some sugar in there. It will taste so much nicer with a bit of sugar in it. Right, whilst, whilst, whilst you sort out the alcohol, I'm going to get on with uh, getting the dessert started. Um, it's really actually very, very easy. Oh, so, nice. the idea behind this was really more about using up leftover Christmas yeah. pudding because Christmas puddings always come in huge oh, things like this. I mean, you can get the little individual ones, but yeah, so what I decided I would do was um, do a little trifle. Oh, so you've mashed, you're mashing up the Christmas pudding? What I'm going to do is I'm going to ram some Christmas pudding in the bottom of these rings. <laughs> Making jam now. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> Oh, oh dear. <laughs> right. uh, hang on a sec. Chat's disagreeing with me about the alcohol. Alcohol boils far sooner than uh, water does. Simple it, as that. It does. It does. It disappears. Um. So, Duncan, while I go and get the jelly sorted, do you want to do this? We want to fill these. Yeah, man. Yeah. Basically, take them about a third of the way, no okay. more than. Okay, even maybe just a quarter of the way. Just basically get some Christmas pudding in there, and then with your lovely clean hands. Yeah. Yeah. Tamp it down so they're nice and smooth okay. and like filled in. Yeah, do all four of those. Right? Well, do. Yeah. And Sam will do a close up on it. Oh. Because he's uh, awake. There you go. There you go. <laughs> all right. Use your fingers. That was, that was, that was about there. Just, yeah, so, yeah, so now just give it a, good, a good bang in down. Get your fingers right down inside it. Yeah, and just push it all the way down. Okay. And then. So yeah, you want to make sure there's like no holes. Like a horribly big, that? big, ugly. Yeah, 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 so work it right in. Right. So you might want to put a little bit more in. Blob of a pudding that you present. You're making. You're taking a nice blob. This is kind of, of a way of using and up. Making it into something that doesn't look quite as shit. It's, 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 it's <laughs> kind of a way of using up stuff that's left over, to be honest. But obviously we haven't made any yet, so we're just doing a whole new one. Right. Meanwhile, I'll get the jelly sorted. What does it say on here? How to make jelly? Because I don't use these very often at all. Uh, what is it? How? They print the instructions on the ridgy bit. It's so, so you easy to make, see. it says. Yeah. It's so how much easy. water? Uh, separate into cubes, place in a jug or bowl. Add yeah. half a pint of boiling water. Half a pint, thank you. And okay. stir until dissolved. Right, okay, so we don't want to add a half a pint because we want a stronger jelly because we're going to put brandy in it. And the alcohol in the brandy will stop the jelly setting. All right. So we're going to put in just under half a pint. Okay. So about a third, so about 300, about, what, 250 mil, something like that. And there's something floating around there. There you go, that's clean, it's lovely. Just a bit of fluff and... Yeah, it's fine. You can't touch this. Can't touch this down. There, 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 there. What is it got? There now. Meat there now. Okay. Yeah, it's got gelatine in it, doesn't it? I can touch it. it. Oh, Lewis has carrot chips. Yeah, well, you're going to be doing the turkey anyway, aren't you? I can do whatever you need yeah. to do. You can do whatever. I'm Who scared. is the guy in the middle? Uh, that's me. Hi, hello. His name's Nick. <laughs> Oh, right, yeah. Did we never, no, I think we did introduce you. Yeah, you did introduce me, but there's people joining the stream yeah, and they're he... going like, who, who the hell is he? So my name is Nick Hayward. I, Nick's uh, jumper is truly amazing. It's good, isn't it? The Pink oh, Floyd. Yeah. Um, it's a Pink Floyd it's, homage. It's beautiful, actually, it's yeah. really nice. I like it, Yeah. but a good choice. Yes. Yes. Dark side of the moon. Yes. So uh, I also stream on Twitch as Nick Blade, but I'm not here to promote that. I'm here to promote Jiggle Jam, and I want you people to donate. By the way, if you have any questions, what are we going to do, like, if they donated, they could ask a question? I think, we're I think so, that, that would be good. We? Sam yeah. can maybe get some, some of those donations in for us. We'll have he to looks really bored over there, Sam. Print them off on a piece of paper. But He's had a well, long this is how he looks normally, but we don't get to see it. Sam, Sam had a long night last night as well. Yeah. He just had a long month in general, yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah, and we're, we're also, oh, we didn't mention that we're going to be giving away a phone. Oh, what? For God's sake. <laughs> we mentioned it last night about 50 times. <laughs> so. Yeah, but we were going to do that today. Well, is it a banana phone? I'm not. It's a razor phone. Oh. There you go. We're going oh. to give away stuff. I'm not fond of giveaways. Are you? No. Why not? Well, it's a bit dodgy, isn't it? Like, you know, you, you're not allowed to do giveaways on YouTube. You're not? Are you? Well, no, not allowed. No? no. It gets you, gets you in trouble. Just Cause, a wrap. There, there was this period of time on YouTube where people would be like, sub up for, you know, free giveaways. It was like basically just channels basically giving away stuff. Right. But really shit it's stuff. Done. And, um, go. You got it. There's no way to sort of Oh, Lewis! Check. What? It's, it's boiling. boiling. It's boiling. It's boiling. Don't panic. Okay, it's Duncan. done. It's fine. Right. <laughs> right, so we got. Oh, that is awesome. Look at that. There we go. So let's have a. So there we go. Oh, wrong camera. 
All right, let's, oh, yeah. um, let's try and not chuck these on the floor. Good work, Duncan. Good stuff. Go. Thank so you, you see them filled up with the with yeah. the Christmas pudding. Do we have now. a strainer or some sort of straining? We device. do have, have a, a sieve in um, my box down there. There's a fine sieve. Okay. Which I need for later as well. So, so we have to wash I pour it. away all of the liquid, oh. right? And then this is a yeah, fine. We, 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 we eat that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I know. Do not get that the wrong way around. This is going everywhere. Really this is going all over the chopping board. Um, what, 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 you need the sieve. This is I no, no, no. Okay, what's the right, suggestion? Here. Here. What's, okay. the, what's the way to do this? Well, let's do it over the sink a little bit, just in case we spill anything. Right, oh, hold that by that little nubby thing. Oh right, yes. Yeah. Okay. You've got cup. a jug. Sure. That's it. So I don't burn you. Yeah, that's it. Hold the sieve over the cup. Yeah. Do you want me to do it, hold it here? Or I'm, yeah, that's fine. I don't fine. want you to pour we're, we're, boiling I'm not going cider onto my hand. I'm not going. I've done this before. I'm a professional. Hundreds of times. You are doing this incredibly professionally. It is going everywhere. It's going everywhere a little bit, but that's fine. There we, you go. We've got... Well, the sink has had a little drink Could we pour cider. it into this? Oh, stop being sensible. That's an awesome <laughs> idea. Get the jug over there. <laughs> that's actually a really sensible idea. Over here? Yeah, we're over. Brilliant idea. Watch this. Watch it crack now. <laughs> actually, that's a really good point. <laughs> this looks good, though. This looks good. Let's just let that warm up a little bit <laughs> so it doesn't... <laughs> I don't know, if it hasn't cracked yet, it'll crack, it's, it won't crack. You reckon? Yeah, go for it. This is where it cracks, shorts out the oven, mm -hmm. and then we're just looking at a raw turkey in two hours' time. Well, Christmas is ruined. <laughs> I'm really actually nervous about that cracking because it doesn't look it's like... It's not going to crack. These things are made of glass. Chinese there we plastic. Go. Plastic? That right. yeah, is glass. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking look at that, there you go. Cook, number one thing we cooked, we cooked something. We did it! It looked crack! crack. <laughs> <laughs> It looks fine. <laughs> God, it's, you can tell how cold it is in here because I can barely see from the fucking heat coming off everything. It's nice. Alright, well there you go. Yeah. All right, let's have a try then. Let's, let's, cheers, everyone. I'm not first. To, a, to a good day of cooking, to the Jingle Jam, to a successful. Cheers. Cheers. Merry Christmas, everybody. Good morning. Already drink. Good morning. Sam, do you want one? So I'll come around here. Oh, oh that's sweet. Oh, that's good. <laughs> you overdid it on the sugar. <laughs> it was in the big lump. Oh, it's good. It is good. It's actually really nice. It, I don't think you have overdone the sugar. It does taste a little bit like jam now. It's like a bit like, it's a bit like strawberry jam. I like liquid jam. It's like, yeah, apple and spice jam. Th th thunder, that, thunder. all the alcohol's there. gone. I guarantee you there's, there's no alcohol in there anymore. That's gone. Oh. Well, it tastes good. Let's add more. Alcohol? Yeah, a bit of brandy, that'd be good. There is brandy over there. Oh, yeah. Right there, you see it? Oh, oh there's not much. There. Oh, Sam, there's a lot of love for you. In the chat How much of this you need? Huh? How much? Poor I, Sam looks fucking dead. <laughs> How much are you going to use, Duncan? <laughs> Not much. You putting brandy in? He's got a 25 centiliter bottle. He's Wanna... asking me how much I need out of that. How much is he going to use? A little tot? Oh, yeah, a little tot. Oh, Duncan. Duncan. Not for me, thank you. <laughs> oh, you got to keep your wits about you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I want, I want to try and make the end of the stream still being able to talk. <laughs> okay, this is actually really quite nice. Where'd you get this from? This is from um, up, in the, up on the Park Street, Bluebird Tea. I drink a lot of their teas, they send me free mm. stuff. Okay. And they sent me this, it's free. Oh, so Honestly, you're just if you want to get your there. stuff promoted for <laughs> sending me stuff, it's very easy to send me stuff. And um, yeah, I'll drink it and say it's good. Oh, man, that's really good, actually. What, with the brand? Yeah, 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 that helps. <laughs> Just a little splash. See, see, it's very Christmassy, yeah. but also it's very like winter. Mm. Right? Also, like, also, it feels like you're not really day drinking. It reminds me of it, although yeah, you are it, exactly. <laughs> you're Christmas. totally day drinking. It's fine. Right. It's only time to take it. just to, just to take the edge off, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then you drink five more. <laughs> uh, no, but I remember you, I used to. Um, I remember I used to go skiing around for Christmas with my friend's family, mm. and we would always drink mold, mold thing, mold wine up on the top of the mountain and stuff. Yeah. Very kind of festive, very... Yeah, I usually make more cider on Christmas Eve. So, yeah. so upper middle class, we'd be up on the mountain. So last year though, um, we'll someone sent me a bottle <laughs> of mould stuff and I did it in the live stream room. Um, but I had it, I just oh, put, you the put it in, the in a kettle. kettle. Oh, that was so bad. We, never, we couldn't use that kettle again. Oh my God, did you really? Not? <laughs> I think we threw it away. Uh, well, it just it tastes like mould like cider forever. It was worth it. It was worth it. The worst oh. one is boiling, you can't boil eggs in a kettle. Right. Well, you can kind of boil eggs in a kettle, but the kettle's useless after that. Mm. It just tastes eggy. <laughs> Everything. Because I guess a little bit of egginess seeps out into Yeah, the exactly. Yeah, the and the, the eggs roll around a little bit. Yeah. You can yeah. boil eggs in a car radiator. That's true. 
Really? How do you get the eggs in the car radiator? Put them in the, in the radiator water. So what they, it's what you do actually, apparently. This is, this well, but how do you get them back out to eat them? Oh, you don't. They're, they're staying there. But why would you? Because yes. if you get a crack in your radiator, oh, out, a, right. good, a good way to fix it is to crack an egg into your gotcha. system. Yeah. And it will cook the egg in and the crack. And then that fills the little hole. And it will like, seal yeah. it until right. you can get to a garage. Yeah. And also, you you know, your car smells like eggs forever now. Yeah, I mean, you pretty much fuck your radiator. Yeah. But, but it's it gets fucked you anyway. Yeah. So might as well fuck the whole water <laughs> system in the car. So do not crack eggs into your gas tank of your car. Unless before. you need to. Um, it's like a last resort. So, so if you happen to be at Tesco's or any other supermarket, because other supermarkets do exist, mm. and your car radiator explodes, go and buy some eggs. Just keep an egg in your, in your car kit. Yeah, you know, I mean, you've got your jack, you've got your the classic thing, of course, is running pump. your car on like old chip oil. Would it fail the MOT if your eggs are out of date in your car kit? Nah, no, you'd it's be still right. cooker, wouldn't yeah. they? Just smell bad. <laughs> yeah. So you're you're now filling up these things with raspberries. Yeah. So I'm now, I'm now, I'm now popping some raspberries. Yeah. We'll go back to the cooking, shall we? Well, definitely. Yeah. Do. yeah. <laughs> so. Carry on talking shit. <laughs> yeah, just fucking carry on. Carry on as it is, yeah. yeah. By, the, by, by the way, is this the traditional standard of like Yorks Cast broadcast? Oh no, this is way better than this. <laughs> yeah, man, this is, this is some, this is some high level shit. shit. Right, we've got fucking okay. lights. We've got a kitchen. If I could get a quick close up over here, Sam, that'd be awesome, thank you. Right, so what I've done is I've put a load of strawberries. Uh, no, I haven't, I've put raspberries in there. Fucking hell. It doesn't matter. We did cook the alcohol off, didn't we? If you've got yeah. strawberries, use those. <laughs> so we've got raspberries in there like that, and I've just, I've just put a load of those in. And now what I'm going to do is, where's that brandy gone? Get the brandy there jelly. So that's so, your brandy jelly mix. Yeah, so so, so this is just a, a ready-made orange jelly. Okay. Okay, so... Um, we do have and, to get uh, that to set before. Well, no, you, we, we will. We've got, we've got plenty of time. Oh, so I see you're going to pour the mix first. in is, yeah. and set it on top, right? Yeah, mm. And yeah. it's going to freeze it all together in a nice... Exactly, yeah. So I'm just going to put a little bit of brandy in there. Only a tiny bit. It doesn't need much because the brandy itself is quite strong. That's just a flavour. Yeah, it's just a flavour, but also you need to avoid the um, uh, the alcohol or stop the gelatine setting properly. So what you're really doing here is like just kind of, like kind of, you're making it a good recipe name, right? So it's like brandy, jelly, raspberry, Christmas pudding trifle. So this yeah, is yeah, what they're called, right? Exactly, something like that, yeah. yeah. It's basically Christmas pudding trifle. so that sounds really Christmas fancy, but if it was just jelly, Christmas pudding trifle, it doesn't sound quite as good, but now you've Christmasified it by, by adding the smallest amount of brandy. Yeah. But, you will be able to take but it. But it's leaking because you didn't seal them properly. Look, it's leaking. They're all leaking. They're all leaking. You didn't squash the Christmas pudding down hard enough. Yeah, look, we're fucked. We fucked it. Oh it's fine, gosh. it's fine, because what will happen is that some, some of the jelly will actually stay in there. Oh God. So yeah, it's fine. I'm just going to use it all up. So you go, that, that's the first disaster for today. Well, I didn't know best. you were going to pour liquid on it. <laughs> He mentioned it was about to. Oh, God. Right, well, so this is going to go in the fridge. Well, that's number two thing. I mean, so far, the biggest success has been the malt cider. Sam, what do you think? What do you think of the malt cider? It's, it's all right. It's very sweet. Very sweet, he says. Like you, Sam. Like that's you. something else that, that Duncan had his hands on. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's sweetness is goodness. Duncan Jones. Let's see. So, right, goodness. let's get rid of that. It's goodness. No, that is, that is something. I, I think it's really good. I don't think it's too sweet. I think it's really good. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. With that brandy on top, it, it helped it. Mm. That little nip it gave in it what it needed. Mm. Right. Mm. Okay, oh. so next thing we've got to do is get the turkey on the go. Because right. we have to get this turkey in, otherwise, uh, yeah, the day's just going to be a complete disaster. Right, okay, well, so, um, so, we, so, we, so we need to start prepping the turkey up. So, first thing we need to do is get out of the way for this. disposable tray. Okay. Yeah, the reason we're going to use a disposable tray is because the turkey's going to be cooking for about three and a half hours. How, no, we figured it out, didn't we? How long did we figure it out for? Oh, yeah, two, 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 two hours, hours and two hours 25, I think. Yeah, yeah, on, on, on stream right maths. Yeah, so 25 minutes per kilo, so three kilo bird, so that's an hour and 15 minutes. Okay. Plus 70 minutes, so that's an hour and 10 minutes, so that's two hours 25 two minutes. Two hours 25 minutes, we can do that. Two hours 25 minutes. So, is that what right? time is it now? Is that right, stream? Do you want to check my maths there? 20 25 times 3 time plus stream? 70 divided by 6. So 75 plus 70 is 5 plus 12. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, 75 plus 70, so that's 145 divided by 60. So that gives you 2 hours 25. Yeah, that's 2 hours 25. Yeah. So we got. That sounds, um, that sounds like a not long time. No. But it's a smaller, smaller turkey. Uh, well, it's, it's not, I wouldn't even call this thing a turkey. I'm pretty sure this is a chicken. I mean, it's, <laughs> Actually, that's true. We have gone. It's the world's Definitely. smallest turkey. Well, the part of the problem is, is these, we didn't know how big these ovens were, and they're not huge actually. But also, so also, also anything also, bigger than this, and we're going to have to be cutting into. That's going to feed four people easy, though. Oh, oh easy. We, yeah. I mean, I'm actually 
regretting my vegetarianism. Yeah. Right. Tell, tell, well, you tell me how many people were eating either. So. For Christmas. Yeah, yeah it's, it's Christmas. Um, let's just put that down. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make a, a trivet of vegetables to cook the turkey on, yeah. because then we're going to use the juices and all the goo out the bottom oh, of the pan. That's the best bit. To do the gravy at the end. Yeah, um, which which means I'm, I'm, good can't at, eat that I'm good at gravy. You can't have that either, I'm afraid, no. Fine. So we're just going to get a couple of carrots. Just ruin everything. And a bit of onion. Now, I should be using white onion or brown onions or something like that, but seeing as I thought I'd try and keep the cost down by really buying cheap, those stuff we're not going to use, I'm just going to use some red onion. It doesn't really make any odds, it's just going to put some onion flavour in there. Um, You're going to cover it in butter? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we've got to baste it up. Yeah. We've got to baste it up, but first off, we're just going to peel and chop this onion down. Oh, it's just, it's, it's very, very just like. Nice to watch someone mess around with food, isn't it? It's nice. I've seen some videos on the internet of people doing that, but I'm not sure it's the same oh. sort of thing. Yeah, they shouldn't yeah. be doing that with food. Yeah, past life. <laughs> <laughs> I was young. I needed the money. <laughs> oh. oh, here we go. So, everyone in chat, um, Lewis is skinny as enough as it is. Why does he need to be a vegetarian too? <laughs> well, it's the secret, isn't it? Um, because these are going into the trivet, I'm not going to bother peeling these or anything, I'm just going to chop them up and then we'll get them in. Lewis, can I have one kiss from you for Christmas? My eyes started watering as he cut the onion. Mitchie, here you go, here's a kiss for you for Christmas. Do you have any tips Mwah. on how to cut a lot of shallot without killing yourself? Mwah. What, without what? Without your eyes going yeah. like metal? Breathe through your mouth. It doesn't help. Uh, that's, li that's literally what it is, because it's the sulfide it's in, the, in the onion group. Which breathe goes up your nose and makes your eyes water. Really? So if you breathe through your mouth, it doesn't affect your sinuses mm. as bad. Plus also it helps keep your sinuses clear. Because I've got a big sack of shallots and I want to make some shallot chutney, but I tried cutting uh, one and I like, was like, like the fifth one and I was already dying. I need to cut like 50. I would, I would just, <laughs> yeah, I mean, sh shallots are just a pain in the bum. I mean, yeah. peeling those things is just horrible. Right, so, um, there we go. So that's that's our trim of veg. I mean, we could put celery and leek in there and that sort of thing. It doesn't matter, just as long as you've got some veg in there. Yeah, whack a load of veg in there. Yeah, so, so you just need a bit in there. Go for it. Not potatoes, though. No, because they won't cook properly. Yeah, and they also go all starch in everything. Mash up. Now, in prepping up our bird, there's normally, there it is. So there's the a nappy. pad they put on to absorb the I mean, blood. it just is so attractive, isn't it, guys? You it's know. lovely, isn't it? I mean, it really, yeah, I mean, they've got like the birds like, like hanging off bit there, the, the neck bit. You're getting in, getting your fingers in. God knows. Well, that's the inside. That's the that's the giblets, yeah. Of course. Yeah. I um, mean, and now this is something which is actually quite important. You should eat them raw. So, <laughs> <laughs> we get a quick close up over here, please, Sam, if possible. There's the neck in there. So yeah, no, no, the, yeah, the next, the next in there. So this bit here is what they call the parson's nose, and it's basically so the turkey in life will be walking around like that, yeah. Um, so around, <laughs> like this, right? Okay, so they, they folded the wings back and the in legs life. Here. But this is the, t this but is in the bird's death, tail. It walks around like this. <laughs> in, in death, you have it on its back. The thing is, though, this is the bird's tail, and there's glands in there with wax, which are wax generating, which the bird uses to preen its feathers, and that wax can taste really bitter. So we'll always cut that piece off. Mm. So when you roast it, and you should do this on chickens as well. Never done that. Get through. There, there we go. Cut the wax gland off. Yeah. Nose so you, off. you cut that off, and it's called the Parsons nose. They to eat it. Yeah, yeah, and you can just, you just <laughs> have, 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 have that raw on toast. <laughs> yeah, another time. They eat it. Right. <laughs> That's gonna be like the meme of the stream. It's gonna be like, yeah, come on. Lick the raw food. And then, uh, and then in the bag of giblets, you normally get the heart and the liver, which delicious. is what we've got here. Would you yeah, like to and you got the neck. Show these to the stream or Sorry? We, what are we doing with the heart and liver? This is pretty pretty gruesome stuff, but sure. Yeah, it's alright. So we're just gonna break this down a little bit. Oh god. For those of you who are weak of heart, look away there we are. five minutes ago. Yeah. And then um, we're just gonna chuck those in as well, because those are gonna come out later on and go to make our gravy. Right, they're helping right. with the gravy. Yeah, they are. Great. So if right. you wanted to know what was in your gravy. It's basically you know. the insides of the bird. Yeah. The in yeah. inside bits. Yeah, who knows what they are? They just look weird and blobby. <laughs> This is what like pate is made out of. Yeah, delicious pate. Uh, yeah, for our our pate is made out of the uh, out of goose livers. Yeah. So let's get rid of these bits. Oh, well, there we go. Click, click, snap. I've had yeah. frog guac once, and it was freaking amazing. It is. It is nice. <laughs> it is, it is, it is the thing. So what I'm going to do now? I was, I was like gonna... sour when I was eating. I was like, I don't want to eat this, but it's so goddamn good. Right. <laughs> so well. we're going to baste up the bird now. 
Okay. So who wants to get hands on and rub some butter over the breasts? Oh, I'm oh, sure, I'm sure Lily, love Duncan to. would love to uh, get involved with that. Duncan, you've washed your hands. Yeah, you've yeah, prepped the butter. Yeah, it's just warmer. when it's in your hands, it'll become a bit more malleable. Basically, just rub it all over that bird. Ah, yeah, and yeah, that's it, and it'll start to stick on. Get it, it. Roll yeah. the sleeves up. Come on, I you can't. Look, it's as far as they go. I'll roll them up. Oh, you've got to get your go get your hands in there, Duncan. Right, hang on a second. We've done this. Uh, <laughs> now, this burn scar is not going away. That's you been got a burn so scar. Was that from when? What was that? Hot oil. What were you cooking? Hot oil. What were you making at the time? Uh, bacon. You've got really tight sleeves or very muscly arms. Very both. It's, it's a muscle combination. Yeah. It's all the muscles. It's proper buff. There you go. Right there, I'll <laughs> butter that bird up. All right, let's get this. Oh. <laughs> to rub those breasts. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, you just think you're going to have to eat those later, so, you know, oh. take too kindly. You know, we're going to have to. That's it, that's it. Little bits get stuck it on it, and, yeah, we can stuff yeah. some down there in the thighs. Make, make sure you grease the thighs nicely as well. Oh, yeah. Red hot twitch oh, greasy thighs. stream. We're going to get banned if we're not careful for lubing up these breasts. Oh. <laughs> um, I like greasy breasts. <laughs> if, if anyone's just tuned in uh, and, hasn't, see. and the video hasn't popped up yet, we've just got the audio uh, in a different tab or whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not what you expect. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> Go for the thighs as well. Get get right on them. Oh yeah, I've got to get that. Twitch chat's giving you advice. They're saying, lick the burb breast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thick breasts. Finger that bird. <laughs> Where's the sexy music when you need it? My dad just walked in. Pound <laughs> <laughs> chickle. Oh, that's, that's, that's how we do Spain, isn't it? It's like what if your parents the like, are listening are you watching to you. now? <laughs> it's like, this isn't dodgy, this is fun. So what have you got there? You've got a, a pack of uh, bacon. Streaky bacon. Streaky bacon. Streaky bacon. Wow, Waitrose bacon. Which mm. is yeah, I know. the he's, best he's got bacon. Town, hasn't he? I mean, I, I, I must admit, like, Screw you know, since bacon. I became vegetarian, I've just not, I, I haven't really thought too much about Christmas dinners. I must admit. I, I, I've, That'll do you. I haven't, but, but now I'm faced this, with this, this wing. a big buttery chicken, mm. turkey, and a, oh, and a, and a perfect. bacon. Perfect. You can see right. why people are all excited about it. Um, yeah, it's Bring back memories. You know, I wasn't a vegetarian all my life. It's a relatively recent thing, so. You know, do you miss? What do you miss tough. the most? It's, it's, what do I miss the most? It's for a girl, isn't it? Sushi it's, fish. It's, mm, it's chicken. I think I miss the most. Really? Actually. Yeah, chicken's so. You fucking... could be vegetarian and eat chicken. No, you you really <laughs> you really can't. <laughs> you could be. Well, there's vegetarians that eat fish. There's vegetarians. There's the ovo vegetarians. They're called eggs. That's true. You know, yeah, pescatarians. Mm. Eat, oh, no, they eat only fish, don't they? Well, re regular yeah. vegetarians eat eggs yeah. usually. Yeah. Um, but you can you can not eat eggs. It's optional. It's optional. You can do whatever you want. Do whatever the fuck you want. No. You don't you're, have to follow any pre. You're, you're, you're doing it for health reasons. If you don't like things, you? uh, my yes. Well, you shouldn't eat too much meat. Is what I've what I've been read about and stuff. Okay. My kind of uh, this is all. I feel like a conspiracy theory talking about this sort of stuff. No, I'm 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 loving where this is but, going. You know, Go you, on, let's you, do this. You see these guys who who are we? I know these people who will get angry if they don't have meat for breakfast, dinner, lunch, and dinner. You know, they're like, really? Where's 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 my where's my meat? I need my meat every meal. You know, and some people you meet are like that. Um, Duncan, <laughs> you're not too bad. Um, I, I at the moment I am because that's pretty much all I can. But yeah. But no, I mean, I, I think that you you need to. Um, be healthy, and I, so I originally just cut down to having a small amount of meat, right? Like one portion a week of um, of something, and then do you know what? It was very, very easy to just go from that to none, mm. and it was like, oh, okay, now I'm I basically eating basically only meat, but I don't miss it. Um, you don't miss it? Not really, no, no, I don't. So. I, I like my meat far too much to to do it. Certain, certain meats are obviously worse, like um, the heart. The heart sort of foundation recommends that you don't have more than one portion of red meat a week, so you shouldn't have steak every day. Um, chicken's a lot less bad in a sense. I could afford not, steak uh, every day. Well, no, but you know, and, um, you know, some people are what very. About pork? Is pork red or, or white? I think pork counts as, as white, actually. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, again, citation pork, needed. Pork's quite a high fat white meat. Look it up. Turkey's a very low fat. Yeah. Turkey's a very low fat. Right, so we've got our bird in there, we've got Mine. it um, basted up. Shit, yes. Oh, hell yeah. Fish is different. Again, <laughs> like, again, like, you can eat, yeah. I don't know, like, I feel like, I feel like, um, I'm upsetting people in chat, because a lot of, it's not, it's not the normal thing. Pork, pork is red. Pork no! is red, according to the chat. <laughs> um, you idiota. I'm not sure. Pork's a white meat. 
Like, yeah. what about Paul? I've always regarded so he'd Paul know, as a white thing. What is Paul? Pork with a G. Yeah. That's like chicken. Is it? Mm. They look a lot like a little chicken. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay, so a bit of red wine in here. So, so yeah, so, so you, you, you butter up the breast and the thighs. Yeah? Yeah. And then and uh, the we're just going to lob, yeah, and, and the wings. So you put right. 15 rashes of streaky bacon on Over top the of the top turkey. as well. You yeah. put the heart, lungs, organs, internal testicles, all the bits around yeah. the yeah. thing. You put some onions and carrots, but you well, could put quite, other veg. It doesn't look very fatty, this You've rubbed the bacon. butter into it. You've left it all tied up. You don't untie it. No, leave, leave it. You leave don't it like untrust it, is. it. You leave it as it was. Yeah. Up. This 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 fucking water bottle is going to my head. <laughs> He's um, having to fill up a water bottle right now, guys. Um, yeah. So we got we got we got a bit of everything. Got a bit of everything. Um, <coughs> this is really safe. Again. I'm pouring water over a whole mass of electrical cables. That's fine. So uh, we. You're right. we we're, we're okay. good. This only the boat. A bit, only you know. a little bit splashed on them. It's fine. We need to get some. Um... Right. So some water in here as well. Wow, that's quite a bit of water. Yeah, because the thing the is, the turkey, one. because it's a very low-fat meat, is really prone to drying out. So that's why we put a load of butter on top. That's why we put the fatty, streaky bacon on top as well. well that fatty to try and... bacon. I know it's a bit shit, mm. but I wasn't going to say anything because we had the Waitrose <laughs> brand on screen. And obviously, <laughs> didn't annoy them. Other supermarkets are available. Um, so yeah, we're going to basically try and keep in as much They're moisture as we can. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure that would be good if you fried it for breakfast, but it's not good for a million dollars there. Yeah. A so, lots of liquid in here as well, so that as the turkey, we're going to cover the thing in foil, as it cooks, it's going to sort of like steam and try and keep all the juices mm. in there as well, and we won't have a dry, crumbly turkey. Yeah. That's the plan. Right, do we That's preheat the oven now? The oven has been on for a while Okay. already, so it should be good. So now we've just got to cover it with foil. Oh, ah, one thing I used to always do, and I don't know whether you're not going to tell me this is wrong, I always used to add a bit of pepper and, and salt and stuff. Yeah, you can do. Right. Yeah, I, I guess because you've got the bacon on, that's very salty anyway. Exactly, and we've used salted butter as well. Right. So what I'm going to do is at the end, or near near the end of cooking, so for the last half hour, going to take the going to take the 